Hello guys, so today we're still on um, cooking here, here at Tastebuds Kitchen. We'll be showing you how we make our Italian meatballs. So in making this meatballs recipe, I'm going to be having my freshly ground minced meat as you can see. Yeah, I already have a, a, a bit of um, seasoning in it, just very little, like um, one bouillon cube, which is optional. If you're on a low salt diet, you need not add any seasoning at all, because uh, the mincemeat is slightly salted in itself. So in preparing my Italian meatballs, I have my milk, my liquid milk. I have my freshly chopped parsley, I have my freshly chopped garlic, and I have here my ground black pepper. I like to grind my own black pepper, I like to buy the whole seed of black pepper and blend it here myself because that way it's more aromatic, you have the, the spice really hot and more flavorful like all flavor trapped in the seed and i have my finely chopped onions and i have uh, some salt here and of course my breadcrumbs some people like to soak slices of bread in milk or crush the uh, slices of bread in the meat in the, in the minced meat and have the milk added to it but i like to use mine fine breadcrumbs so back to our bowl of mincemeat so here is our freshly ground meat I'm using cow beef today you can opt for chicken pork or a combination of chicken pork and meat but today like I said we are making Italian meatballs using freshly ground cow beef so I'm now going to add some of my chopped onions to it to the bowl and my chopped garlic and a bit of my ground black pepper a pinch of salt easy on the salt especially if you're on a low salt diet and parsley Ugo, please, can I have two eggs, please? Like two raw eggs. So I need to crush, or rather, I need to add uh, two eggs to this mix. So that is going to act as a binding agent. I'm still putting a bit more garlic. Now, in making this Italian meatball sauce, what makes it really uh, Italian, or rather, what makes it via meal, is the belief that the more garlic you have and the more red wine in the sauce you can never go wrong with a lot of garlic and red wine well when we move over to making the sauce you will see me add the red wine in the sauce mix this makes it very very flavorful you know that whole beautiful tasty uh, flavor of the red wine it adds to the richness of the sauce I can never have my meatball sauce without the red wine. So I'm having them beat two eggs. They're going to beat it with a fork. So it's going to be really foamy. And we're going to introduce it to the minced meat. So while I wait for them to beat the eggs, I'm going to pour some of my milk into this. The milk is going to help the breadcrumbs, or rather the breadcrumbs is going to help the milk whichever comes first but remember the milk gives it a fine texture so I think that's my egg over here is all set all mixed so I'm gonna add my milk to the breadcrumbs and to some of the milk I already have now I'm going to knead not really knead. I'm gonna mix it gently with my fingertips and as I mix if I need to add more of the breadcrumbs or I need to add more of the egg mix or I might need to add some of the milk let's find out so 
There we go. So mixing all of this in. And don't forget, it is usually nice when you can add some grated Parmesan cheese. It it um, enables the meatballs to have this fine texture when you prepare the meatballs and you're, you're eating the meatballs from the sauce. You notice that it is soft, but yet it is it's tender, it's soft, and it's fried all in one. And you're wondering like, wow, these meatballs are so juicy. That is what the Parmesan cheese can do if you add. But uh, my clients are making this for, should I say she's allergic to cheese or she doesn't like cheese at all? So she was specific. Taste buds, please no cheese. So for this meatball recipe, I omitted the Parmesan cheese first. Remember, if you have permission cheese or you love permission cheese, it will do your meatballs a world of good. So, here we are, mixing this up. And after now, we're going to make some nice, cute little balls and arrange them on a tray. I rather knit this with my uh, fingers, you know, it makes it really easier. Can you help me hold this? shape so you can see me needing this so I guess we're done here we're now gonna mold we're gonna mold them into tiny little bowls but before we do that I'd like to see if the salt is really nice, very nice. So you can see the tiny bits of parsley leaves in the meatball mix. So we're ready to knead our cute tiny little meatballs and get ready for the sauce. So, as you can see, our meatballs are ready to be fried. The kneading is almost completed. So, we're almost done kneading. So, we're getting ready to fry. So, we're taking it now to the frying pot. So, let's go to the frying pot. So, we're taking this to the stove. And we're going to be frying. Tomato sauce with some red wine. So we're getting done with the business of frying in the next few minutes. So we can now start making our, our tomato sauce with some fine red wine. And we're going to grate some cheese and steam our pasta. Now we're getting ready for our sauce. So that's a bottle of red wine there. And our meatballs. And of course the tomato sauce. Okay, so what we basically have in here is our brown fresh uh, tomato paste with some garlic, a bit of oil, salt and some seasoning. So we're just gonna let that simmer a bit. Uh, like I told you, you can never go wrong with a little too much chopped garlic. So that's our chopped garlic going in there. 
and I'm having some of uh, our black pepper. So we have some of the black pepper that is all going in there. I'm going to stay for a bit. Before adding our wine. gonna simmer for a bit and then we'll add the red wine. Can you help me with that? So you know that it. This makes the sauce very flavorful, I tell you. If you've been making a tomato uh, meatballs up without adding the red wine and a friendly dose of uh, chopped garlic. I think you should try it now. A good dose of chopped garlic and some red wine. You are going to tell the difference. It is uh, richer, it's more flavorful, and more delicious. So it's going to simmer for a bit, and then we're going to add. Uh, mince meat. I like to add my mince meat, I uh, mean my meatballs, and some beef stock. But if you do not have beef stock, feel free to just add some tap water. So I'm going to take this for salt. Mmm. Mm. Very, very, very beautiful. So we're now going to add some of our Meatballs in some and don't forget to add a pinch of sugar. I'm going to be adding a, a pinch of sugar to this sauce. The sugar kind uh, it kind of brings out the sweetness of the sauce. You know, there's this saying that a bit of sugar and a bit of salt has a way of complementing each other. That way you get a balance of uh, sweetness and saltiness in your, in your sauce. So I'm going to turn down the heat a bit. Um, I'm going to turn that down a bit. And we're going to have to add some sugar and some beef stock. So this is our meatball sauce, simmering. We just added it a pinch of uh, sugar and some water so the meatballs can now cook in the sauce. Remember we added some uh, red wine and a friendly dose of chopped garlic. So now we're going to stir and allow the meatballs to simmer in the sauce. If you feel this is too thick for your liking, you can add a bit more water or a bit more uh, beef broth. It depends on what you like the consistency of your sauce to be like. So you just put in a bit of uh, water, turn down your heat and then allow it to simmer. So this is our meatball sauce simmering we just added a pinch of uh, sugar and some water so the meatballs can now cook in the sauce remember we added some uh, red wine and a friendly dose of chopped garlic so now we're going to stir and allow the meatballs to simmer in the sauce if you feel this is too thick for your liking, you can add a bit more water or a bit more uh, beef broth. It depends on what you like the consistency of your sauce to be like. So you just put in a bit of uh, water, turn down your heat and then allow it to simmer. <laughs> 